We were in Deer Lake, Pennsylvania one time. There was a little boy there. He looked frail and he wanted to meet Muhammad Ali. I said, no problem. And I brought the boy in and his dad. Muhammad looked at the boy and he said, why do you have this hot wool hat on? He said, it's so hot out there today. He said, I got leukemia and I lost all my hair. I'm getting this chemo. And Ali said, I'll tell you what, I'm going to beat George Foreman and you're going to beat leukemia. The boy looked at him and he said, oh, I hope you're right, Ali. I hope you're right. I went and I got my camera and I took a picture of the little boy and Ali and I got the father's address. I had Ali right on the picture. I'm gonna beat George Foreman and you're gonna beat cancer. God bless you, Muhammad Ali. So about two weeks later, I get a call. It said, the boy's father, he said, Jimmy's very sick. He's in the University of Pennsylvania Hospital. He's not gonna make it. But the thrill of his life was beating Muhammad Ali. I said, geez, I'm sorry to hear it. Is there anything we can do? No. So that next morning we're doing road work. 4.30 in the morning before the sun is up when he can run. And I tell him about the boy. He said, okay, here's what we're gonna do. When I get done my exercise and all, we take a shower, we head down to the hospital. So we go down to the University of Pennsylvania Hospital, two hour ride, and we went in. Here's a little boy with a white sheet, a white kid, no hair, big blue eyes. And he said, Muhammad, I knew you would come. And Muhammad reached and he held the little boy. He said, remember, I told you that you are going to beat cancer and I'm going to beat George Foreman. And that's the way it's going to be. And the little boy said, no, Muhammad, I'm going to meet God. And I'm going to tell him that I know you. There wasn't a word said in the two hour ride going back. About a week later, the little boy died. The father called me and Ali said he didn't want to go to the funeral. It was too sad. So I went over to the funeral and in the casket, they had the boy laid out and they had the picture there. I'm going to be George Foreman. You're going to be cancer. The boy was going to go to heaven and say he was a friend of Muhammad Ali's to get a better seed or better place. That's, that's a great compliment, isn't it?